Hey guys, it's Suzette from a New Eureka Think Kitchen and we're going to continue our series with food truck favorites. So today we're going to do my truffle yucca fries that was extremely popular on the food truck and I'm going to show you how all the way down to the mayo ketchup which I call fry sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is boil some yucca. So I'm buying, I bought frozen yucca and this is a pound and a half. Okay, you can get the bigger bag, you know, whatever is for your family. And what you want to do is bring your water to a rapid boil because we have to cook the yucca and then we're going to cut it into fries. So I'm going to add a little salt to the water. It's already boiling and we're just going to add our yucca to the boiling water and let that cook up. Again, I'm just making a small amount. But you can make, you know, I used to make three pound, five pound bags, depends on who you're feeding. So while that's boiling, we're gonna bring that to a boil and cook that yucca, um, I'm going to show you how to make my fry sauce. It took me a while, guys, because I had to scale it down, because I used to make um, probably, I don't know, six gallons a week of this stuff. I didn't even know this existed. I didn't grow up with it and I would put the mojo on the food truck, you know, for the plantains, and everyone was asking for this mayo ketchup. So of course I made some, did some research. I said, all right, let's try this. So this is my take on it. All right, guys, um, first thing you're gonna need is mayo, ketchup, uh, black pepper. I use lemon juice. I use, you can use olive oil, vegetable oil. Right now I am obsessed with avocado oil, obsessed. Of course, my homemade adobo. If you do not have homemade adobo, please check out my YouTube channel. I have the full recipe for that. I have um, hot sauce, which is, this is my homemade hot sauce, but you can use any hot sauce or no hot sauce. It really depends on how you like your um, fry sauce. And then I use about seven cloves of garlic. And I think that's everything. And let's not forget, this is my truffle yucca fries. So this is my truffle oil that I put in a spray bottle. Why truffle yucca fries, you ask? Because I wanted to really elevate the fried yucca. You know, I love the fried yucca. I just used to use ketchup. And then one day I was experimenting because I wanted to elevate it. So I decided to, you know, play around with it. And I love truffle fries. So I was like, why not truffle yucca fries? Why not? So anyway, it became really popular on the food truck. So let's go ahead and start mixing this together, guys. So what we wanna do is two cups of mayo. Okay, so we're gonna do two cups of mayo. Got out two cups of mayo here, guys. Two cups of mayo and to two cups of mayo we want to do one cup of ketchup and what I usually do is I usually save an old you know ketchup container to put my mayo ketchup in because this is going to make quite a bit and of course you can double the recipe you can kind of pare this one down too to make less but this is a nice size because you can always use it you know for other stuff and it does last quite a bit in the refrigerator you must keep it refrigerated so I just mix um, all of that and you'll start to see you know the typical color of the mayo ketchup okay see how that's coming together it's nice and you just can keep see how sometimes it's lumpy so I like to just keep um, mixing until it's a nice smooth consistency so it's not lumpy. Okay guys, I'm happy with the results because we're gonna also keep mixing it. So now let's start um, putting the good stuff in. So I'm gonna use my garlic, okay? I'm using my handy dandy garlic crusher. Um, now when I used to make big batches, I used to actually put this in the blender because it was, you know, larger quantities. But since I'm just doing it for us um, at home, I'm just gonna use my garlic press and I'm using about seven cloves of garlic. And you're just gonna put it in there because you want it to be crushed. If you guys don't have one of these, get one. I love it. Okay, so we have our garlic. Now we're going to do a half a tablespoon of 
your oil again I'm using avocado oil you can use olive oil you can use veg some people use vegetable oil all acceptable and then we're going to use lemon juice you can use a fresh lemon absolutely another using your same measuring half a tablespoon some lemon juice Okay, then we're going to use our hot sauce. Again, use what you like. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of hot sauce and I'm doing, you see that heaping. And again, you can use any hot sauce that you like. And then we're going to use um, our black pepper. And I just use a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And it goes. And then we're going to mix this all together. And now is the time to taste it. If you feel that you want to add a little bit more garlic or you want to add a little bit more hot sauce, now would be the time to do it after you've incorporated everything or even a little bit more black pepper. The best thing to do is actually put this in the refrigerator for about an hour before serving so it can set up a little bit because you see how liquidy it is. It's going to get a little thicker as it's refrigerated, obviously. So just keep mixing it. Make sure it's nice and smooth to your liking. Cover and refrigerate and then we can look at our yuca and see if it's ready to go but in the meantime this could be setting up so how do we know the yuca is ready just like a potato we're gonna put our fork through and see if it's soft okay it's soft and it is safe to take the yuca out see how soft it is now you don't want to make it mushy because we are going to make french fries out of this so I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm going to you want to drain this to be cooled down before you start making um, your french fries because it's going to be mushy if you don't let it cool down and be cold so try to spread out your yuca evenly and what I do is you can either let this cool you know in a room temperature or you can put it in the refrigerator if you want to um, hurry up the process the great thing about this is that this is a great thing to do ahead okay and you can even freeze it and then when company comes over you want it for dinner you can just pop it out just like frozen french fries and fry them up so in the meantime i'm going to put this in the fridge to cool it off and i'm also using a fryer today so i'm going to um, start warming up my fryer if you're using a frying pan just like french fries is how you're going to fry these okay no no different so we're going to let this cool off and we'll be back all right guys so my yuca has been cooling off in the refrigerator so make sure you have um, your knife, your cutting board, your homemade adobo, and my truffle oil, which I just put in here. Now you can use white truffle oil or black. Either one works fine. I know it's a little pricey, but I have actually found it in Home Goods and the Marshalls. They have little little ones, and a little bit goes a very long way, so you don't need much. So if you got yourself a little bottle of it from one of these places, it would really be enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut our yuca. You can leave it this chunky if you want. You can cut it thinner, like a french fry. Okay. I like it thinner because I want it to be more like a french fry. And that's how I did it on the food truck. So they were a little thinner. So now yuca has, let's pick one that has one. Okay. Yuca has a vein that goes through the yuca. You want to remove that vein, discard it and just cut your yuca into nice chunky fries. Okay, now in the meantime, you should have your oil warming up. If you're doing it in a frying pan, you're going to fry your yuca fries just like french fries. So I'm gonna take this first bunch and I'm gonna throw it into my fryer. Okay, and let's drop it. Okay guys, you see how the yuca is golden brown. If you want it a little bit more, you can definitely fry it more. This is good enough for me. So you just drain it with some paper towel to get the excess oil off. And you're gonna put it on here. So what you wanna do is spray your cup of oil, okay? You're gonna add your homemade adobo. Please do not attempt this with the other stuff. I'm not gonna mention names. Anyway, just do your homemade adobo because it is it's special. 
You know, you gotta, you gotta get the recipe, guys. And you're just gonna mix it. You can mix it in a bowl, a lot easier. Or whatever, your hands, whatever works, guys. And if you wanna add more adobo, certainly do. But I find that's pretty much enough. Okay, here's our mayo ketchup. Hi, deliciousness, about some meat, some yucca fries. So, let's put it in a bowl. Get that beautiful fry sauce in there, which is gonna be fantastic for your yucca fries. And, voila, guys. Truffle yucca fries. This is some deliciousness right now. It's good. Trust me, it's good. Top seller on the food truck. Okay, I couldn't make enough of this stuff. So, thank you for joining me today. Have a great day. And visit me again on the New York and Think Kitchen. Bye.